When I was born on a farm in Ohio, in the heart of the Midwest USA. And I was born in a nice place. Our farms had a lot of cows that been grazing the grass all day. And we had chickens that constantly lay eggs. My parents would guard these stocks and they were constantly busy protecting them from predators. Keeping an eyes on the homestead was very hard, and dangerous work. The Hummelins were always busy and everyone in the farm worked very hard. As a newly born puppies, we lived in a carefree world. So my sisters and brothers were always around and kept me warm and cozy. The farm was my playground. And I loved nothing more than exploring its wide open spaces. Playing with my brothers and sisters. And napping in the sun. Unfortunately for me, this did not last long. When the human got out of his jeep, I knew that there was something wrong. Then I was scared. I didn't understand why my human caretaker would talk to the stranger. I didn't like it. But the human caretaker sounded happy to see him. It feels like something was coming and I didn't know what it was that gave me the goosebumps. The human guys were talking about my veterinarian medical history and my breed background. You see my grandpa is from AKC registered giant schnauzer and he won many awards. And this human guy seems to be interested on my heritage background. My human caretaker left me with him. But I don't know about you. But I need to stay away from this human because he is giving me the creepy vibes. So I ran after my human caretaker. I tried my best to be with my caretaker. But the human caretaker was not having it. He was more concerned about me for not showing affection to the stranger. But he simply puppy handled me and gave me to that creepy humo and guy back. Now I am getting really worried. I want to stay away from the humo and guy. But being a puppy, I am helpless. I am shocked that the caretaker would leave me alone with this stranger, and I don't know why he is doing this. All I can do is stare at the caretaker with disbelief. So, I started to cry again. The humo and caretaker introduced my father to this stranger. I don't know why, and I was hoping my dad would take me away from this stranger. But somehow, he knew what was best for me. And simply ignored my concern. The best thing my dad could do is show to the stranger that I came from the best pure breed line. My dad has this imposing appearance that showed a strong courageous guard dog. And that the reason, that makes him valuable to this farm. What I didn't know. At the moment, was that this was the last time, that I will see my dad and my mom. Between these two humans, I witness something very strange. First they do this hand shaking thing and next you see is green paper. And next thing you know, they are all happy and smiling. As if they've beaten a lion or something. After that strange exchange, the strange human picked me up and put me into his jeep. I don't know where he is taking me, but at this point I, am, pooping. Because when I get scared, I cannot control my number one or number two. I hope he likes my gift. I am being taken from my pack, and I don't like it. I am, at this point, try to convince this human to let me go. I already miss my family, and I want to go back. And I am trying very hard, let this human know that, this was not nice. I tried to take over the wheels, and try to turn the jeep around myself. But I had I realized, that I am only a puppy, and needs hands, to turn the jeep around. So I gave up. So my final attempt, to try to convince. This human to let me go is the, death stare. I gave him the hardest serious, death stare. I tried so hard, that my eyes were start hurting by staring at this human. This should convince him that this was not nice. But this human simply thinks, that I am cute. So I gave up, and bury myself, in the blanket. 
We were on the road and I found out that this crazy human drove from New York City to Ohio and we are heading back. The trip took about 9 hours one way, but, he decided to stop in Pennsylvania to rest. The hotel we stayed in looked very ruined down. The hotel looked so bad that you can make one of those horror movies. I hope I am not one of those pets that gets killed, because it's always the dog that get killed first. The human tried to get me into the room. I didn't want to, because I don't what he is going to do to me. So I resisted. But the human pushed me in. So what choice did a pup have? I just hope that he is not a pedophile and not into pups. At the motel. The human prepared everything in advance. I was getting a royal treat, and toys. The treats were very good, and I liked it. The toys were fun to play with. Normally, I would share my toys, with my sisters, and brothers. But now, these toys are all mine. I don't know, if this was a good thing, or bad. Because I would have fun playing with the toys, with my sisters and brothers. I've been wondering, what my pack is doing now, do they miss me? I don't know, but I do miss them, and I miss playing with them with our toys. I see that this human is trying to comfort me. And I appreciate that, and these yummy treats are helping me with the separation anxiety. But I am still upset, that this human took me away, from my pack. So, I am taking my aggression, onto this box. I am pretending, that this box, is this crazy human, that drove all the way from New York City, to Ohio. What type of human do this? I am so upset, that I am going to chew this box, really, good. After getting my frustration out, I was getting hungry. So the human got me some dog food. Funny thing is that this was the same type of dog food, that I was eating, at home, so this was comforting because it reminded me of my family. The human was petting me, while I was eating. And he was putting his hand, into my bowl. I think he was testing if I had any food aggression. But my human caretaker trained me not to be an asshole. So, I let him pet me and let him put his hand on my food. Come to think of it, humans don't eat dog food. So what the point of getting aggressive? The next day, we were ready to leave after breakfast. The human was in a hurry. So he, pushed me, and kicked me. That was not nice. Can someone call the Animal Domestic Violence Service? For love of God, please. He took me for a walk around the motel so that I can stretch my legs because we will be driving for next 6 hours. I will unload my gift onto this grass. The fact that the human took care of me last night, I decided to give him a break by not doing number 1 and number 2 in his jeep. Because last time, he got very upset. I don't know where this human is going to take me. And he is not going to take me back home. So, I have to accept the fact that I may not see my home in my pack again. is so pretty right now I wonder if your pretty eyes are see I need a good love I wonder if you're ever gonna be here in a couple weeks I could drive away and you could find another victim it's not your fault I feel this way Senseless with no direction. Today was a nice day. The sun was bright, and the clouds were beautiful. The sound of the driving on the road made me very sleepy. And I was sleeping most of the way towards the humo and destination. And, I was mostly dreaming about my sisters and brothers playing on the farm. I miss my brothers, and sisters. I miss the farm, my human caretaker, the chickens, and the cows. 
And, I also miss, Mr. Cooper, that cock a doodle doo early in the morning. And lastly Miss Penny, the angry farm cat. I hope, I never have to wake up. But, after a long drive, I finally woke up, and realized that I was still in a nightmare. I am very sad and depressed. And all this sadness was getting me hungry. So the human stopped by for water and food. After spending some time with this stranger, I realized that this human is now taking care of me. He has been watching me, and always seems concerned about me, I don't know what is his intention. But for now I have to accept the fact that he is now taking care of me. And I should try to be nice to him. And he also took me out for a stretch. And we played a little, so that I don't get too bored heading back to the road. Right now, I am confused why my caretaker let me be taken to this stranger. Did I do something wrong? I don't know the answer. But I hope. This humo and don't abandon me like the other caretaker. After short break, we were back on the road. We finally arrived in New York City. I hope this humo and understand what he got himself into. Because giant schnauzer is a handful. I am not likely to be easy to handle. And according to statistics provided by the Animal Foundation, the shelter took in 14,122 dogs last year, an almost 30% increase from 2021. However, the dog euthanasia rate was more than 91% in 2022, with 2,261 dogs euthanized. I just hope, I will not end up on that statistic next year. Thank you for taking the time to watch my YouTube diary. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to this channel. If you don't, then I am going to give you the, death stare.